Hey guys, what's up? DJ Kevin over here from DJ Kevin TV One, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your JBL Eon PA system. So I actually got the JBL Eon on the ground and uh, got my mixer and some cords. So what about we start with that? Well, first off, what you need is a speaker stand. Any speaker stand can do. This is the on-stage stand, so these guys are a little bit more expensive. So, let's just open up this guy. <clears throat> and put your desired height. Like right there. That should be good. Put the safety pin in. Drop it. Hit a click, you're all set. Now I got the bunch of power cords that goes to the JBL. And we got our Alto Professional ZMX52. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mixer out first. And what I got in the box is the, the wire. That goes from the mixer to the JBL. We got the power supply or power cord. And we got the mixer itself. Now I know it's a little dark, but uh, there's the mixer. Make sure all the volumes are all the way down so we don't pop the speaker or create any uh, pop in while you turn on the mixer. Move that out of the way. Put the mixer right here. So we got our stand, we got a mixer, and we got our cables and cords. So the next thing that we have to do is put the speaker up on the stand. There we go. Our J our JBL is on the stand. And yes, this is the JBL Eon 610. So, we already got the speaker up on the stand, and now what we have to do is plug in our connections. So, what about we start with the mixer that goes straight to the speaker. So, if we actually flip the speaker around, you have Two inputs right here. You got a channel one and a channel two. Let me just tighten that up a little bit. So we have a channel one and a channel two. Make sure your volume and your your channel, your channel volumes are all the way down and your main volume is all the way down to assure that we don't pop it. The first thing that we're gonna do is take this end. This is a guitar cable, but it's a mono cable. Take this end. Connect it to one of the outputs in the unbalance. I always go right. Actually, you know what? Today, we're going to go left. So you plug that in. And then you take the other side of the cord. And then you plug it into channel one. Now make sure, because this speaker... Also have a mic preamp inside. So make sure that it is pressed out for line. Or if you want to do some speeches, make sure you have it in. There's two individual buttons for each channel. So there we go. Next, what we're going to do is connect the speaker into the outlet. So we connect the speaker into the outlet. So let's plug in the speaker like so, like that. And plug it into your nearest outlet, which mine is all the way bump fuck back here. And apparently when I got the speaker, So 
when I fucked around with the power cord. So, we got our line in, power in. So we are all set with this for now. So now what we have to do is we gotta plug your mixer into the outlet as well. Do not turn your speaker on, your speaker goes on last. So let's plug this into the desired outlet, which will be back there. Plug it into there. Now this goes to any powered speaker to set it up. But right now, I got the JBL Eon right here. And uh, you just take this and plug it into your outlet. So there you go. So you got your JBL plugged into the outlet and you got your mixer plugged into the outlet. But we are missing one thing, audio source into the mixer. So, what I'm going to take right now is I'm gonna use a Y cable to go into one of the channels on the mixer, and then I got RCA to mini jack to go into a phone or computer or whatever. <clears throat> so we got that. So now it's converted. And now we plug it into any channel on the mixer. <clears throat> and then you take your audio source, which is the iPhone, and plug it right in. Now, if you got um, if you got a microphone, you plug that into the mic in on the mixer. Now you think that you're all done? You're not all done. But first, what you have to do is you have to power up the mixer first. So power it on. You see a green light. So the mixer is already on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the back of the JBL, and then you're gonna switch it on. Now, now with the JBL, it's gonna go through a lot of firmware, go through the DSP, so that might take a little while. It's going through the lights, and now you're all set. So at that point, you should see a front LED into the front panel, which is right there. So technically you are all set and ready to go, but what you're going to do now, the volumes is all the way down. Make sure that these volumes are all the way down, right? So I'm going to point it like that. Turn on your phone or computer or tablet, whatever floats your boat, and choose a video, but I'm going to use a non-copyrighted video. Hopefully it's playing. All right. So now it's playing. So now what you're gonna do, what you are going to do, is turn the mixer up until it hits zero dB. But first, what you're gonna do is turn up your channel one level that my phone is plugged into. Make sure it's not peaking and turn up the volume until it is a comfortable 0 dB, which is right there on the mixer. So we have it 0 dB. <clears throat> now you see a green light flashing, right? Maybe just turn it down a bit. So now you see a green light flashing. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to turn this up in the middle at 12 o'clock, at the 12 o'clock position. Now I'm gonna take the master and just slowly turn it up. Now, now this is really, really late that I'm making this video, so I'm not gonna turn it up that high, but. And now we got sound.
So now we got sound. So that's at 12. I could turn it up a little bit more if I wanted to. I have it on main. Make sure that your DSP uh, EQ presets is on main. That's on monitor. That's for if you're running a sub. And then that's for microphone use. So we're going to put it back on main. That EQ plus over there. Let me turn the power speaker down. That EQ plus is for DSP on the, um, on the Bluetooth. So you can actually do some DSP on your tablet or phone or whatever. Hopefully it, the phone is going to stay. There we go. So let's turn it up a little bit more. Into your desirable height, um, um, hearing or volume, I should say. And then there we go. We got audio. You could do it halfway. I got it on channel one. Your limit is not on. So there you go. That is how you hook up your JBL Eon 610, 6, 612, or 615 into a standard mixer. So that is it you guys, that's how you hook up your JBL Eon 610, 612, 615 into a mixer source. Now there is all different types of configurations that you can actually do in this setup. Um, with this LED, this LED strip in the front, you can actually turn that off by a little power button right here. So the front LED won't shine if you're doing a, you know, a really, really nice wedding. And then um, I leave it on because it let me know that the power is on the speaker. There you go. So, yeah, that's how you hook up a mixer and a phone into the JBL Eon or any powered speaker. So I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. And um, we'll be doing more videos on this speaker. Um... The next, the next video that I'm going to do is the comparison of the, of the Mackie and the JBL. Um, let you guys hear what's the difference and how it really, really sounds from each other. So, that's it. Practice and enjoy.